Uh, so Foncha, chairman of the new uh, New Africa Coalition Front and president of Southwest Indigenous People Association. Uh, what do you think about the arrest of uh, those persons in the United States? Just like uh, Dr. Nick Santo mentioned, uh, this is not the first time those uh, involved in crisis in Cameroon are being uh, caught up by uh, the State Department or the Security Department of the United States. Now, what do you think? Uh, many are expecting that this could possibly create an impact on the situation on ground. Do you think uh, the arrest of these three persons will have much to uh, as an impact on what is happening in Cameroon's English-speaking regions. Uh, yes, uh, I have two track opinions here. The United States of America has a foreign policy objectives for Africa and Cameroon in particular. And the United States of America has its own internal laws. And those laws forbid any United States citizen from state sponsor of terrorism or participating or financing terrorism in any foreign country. But the United States of American law does not prohibit an American citizen from participating in fighting for people's inalienable right to self-determination, like what some American citizens are doing today in Ukraine and different parts of the world. Now, the question is, does this impact the situation on the ground? I want to speak directly to the question you asked me. I don't want to concentrate on American law and American foreign policy. No, it does not impact the situation on the ground because the secessionist movement has morphed into factions of financial criminal syndicates, which means the various fighting factions on the ground are now autonomous and independent in the same Spain. It does not matter how much money is raised from the diaspora and funneling to these various groups on the ground. These fighting factions on the ground, what we call generals or what, what not, they are self-financing from their activities of kidnapping, extortion, home invasion. They are not answerable to the degree that we think to the uh, so-called leaders in the diaspora. The leaders in the diaspora are illusionary leaders thinking the funds they are generating here through enemies necessary and sending over to the ground, those funds will buy the loyalties to the various fighting factions. It's the other way around. Those factions on the ground fighting they are only using the diaspora at this point in time as an instrument to get foreign currency in order to facilitate their enterprise. So this crisis and what has just happened in the United States doesn't really have any impact on the ground because the entire war machine within the Northwest and the Southwest uh, provinces or Northwest and Southwest regions of Cameroon today have now become independent franchises. And they are self-financing on the ground because I know personally factions on the ground that actually mandate people's cocoa farm, take the cocoa from those farms and sell. I know factions that commandeer rubber from CDC and sell those rubber in Gali. Those factions on the ground actually, they raise more money from the ground than the monies that have been sent from the diaspora. So arresting three individuals in the United States should be a United States problem to deal with these citizens who are of Cameroonian origin that are sponsoring terrorism in a foreign country which happens to be Cameroon. So Cameroonians should not be jubilating that arresting these three individuals will mitigate or stop the bloodshed that is happening in the Northwest and Southwest region. Because, as I said, the various fighting factions on the ground are autonomous right now, and they are independent financial criminal syndicates. I've been saying this for quite some time. Even the diaspora right now, even the diaspora, like the three that were arrested, I know them. I know the way I was in this struggle. These individuals are scammers, like the Nigerian Store 419. They collect some of the money from our struggling sisters who are nurses over here, and they send a little bit over there. They came from this money. They come from this money. So the same 
financial criminal cartels or syndicates that are taking place that are operating in the southwest and regions of Cameroon is the same that is happening here in the diaspora. People like Chris Arno, people like Sako Samuel Akome, people like uh, Ayabacho Lucas. All these people are right now running an international financial criminal syndicate that I think in order for this to have an impact, the Cameroon government should be coming to talk to people like us, talk to people like Dr. Honorable Dr. Nicolas Santos, for us to be material witnesses in any type of international setting or court to be able to pinpoint exactly how these financial criminal cartels are being run by people like Ayaba Lucas, people like um, uh, Sako Samuel, people like Chris Arno, people like Eric Tato. This thing has become an international criminal cartel. And this international criminal cartel has been franchised. So it does not have anything impact on the ground, these three arrests, until the government is going to put their case. Thank you. Afrique Media. Le monde, c'est nous.